but also hormonal changes in females. So monthly cycle, post ovulation, days 10 to days 22, there's an increase in progesterone and estrogen and progesterone is a respiratory stimulant. So breathing becomes faster. Breathing with faster breathing is more likely to be upper chest, especially if the person feels that they're not getting enough air. You know, if we're feeling suffocated, we typically breathe faster in upper chest breathing. And if breathing is too much, the volume is too much, carbon dioxide levels can drop by 25%. And this can increase pain perception and lower pain thresholds and arouse the central nervous system and contribute to panic and anxiety and fatigue. So the symptoms of PMS can be influenced by the breathing patterns brought about by hormonal changes. Now, that has been known since 1905, but most research on breathing has been done by men. And even when research is done on women, it fails or often fails to take into account the monthly cycle. Now, the implications of this can be as follows. Women who would meet the diagnostic criteria for fibromyalgia during the luteal or mid-luteal phase, they may not meet the diagnostic criteria outside of that. So it, it's really something to be keeping an eye on and for females to be tracking their breathing patterns. Mm -hmm. 